What's going on guys? It's Ben here. Hope you all are enjoying the update today. Oh, wait, the Clash Royale said when you after a war finishes, you get these pouches. So our war is almost done here. But I have five minutes left and I still have to do two war day attacks. So the war deck I'm going in with is the Golem. I have the Night Witch. I'm just gonna show you guys a battle deck, but a little bit cut on time here, but it's not like it's gonna change a whole lot of anything because we're locked in at second place. This is just for my own personal benefit here. But today, we are going to be opening up those first ever War Day pouches. Hopefully get some trade tokens uh, to show you guys. And I don't know. Let me know how you guys are liking the update. Definitely, definitely like those are exciting. If you guys got a lot of trades in, you're like bargaining with other people in your clan and whatnot. But, ooh, right off the start. So we are facing a Goblin Barrel. So at least we'll be able to activate our King Tower. Uh, that's going to be pretty key because I actually do not have a log in this battle deck. And of course, I don't have the zap in my opening hand, so I'm going to eat the Goblin Gang damage. He's being incredibly aggressive right off the start here. With like a bunch of spammy troops here, which I'm totally fine with. Because we'll, we'll be able to make a pretty big counter push here going in here. Uh, I don't really have a whole lot of air counters just yet, but I do have my Executioner. That's going to be really, really key. See if this guy has a poison, though. So he's going to drag my golem all the way over there. Okay, well, I threw down the Executioner. Poison is coming out. Uh, the levels, for those of you that are just tuning in, levels have been standardized in Clash Royale, so no legendaries aren't, like, crazy overpowered with them being level 12. It's just how it is. And sadly, my bat and my Executioner got taken care of by the Princess Tower, even though the Golemite was actually closer. So, wasn't the push that I had in mind. We are facing some log bait battle decks right now, uh, which is going to be pretty decent for me. But I think we'll be okay at the moment. I don't know. I haven't seen arrows out of him. I don't think I have to worry about the skeletons. I did not. So we're about 30 seconds away from this double elixir. And that's when it's going to be crucial. So I can't go in just yet with my golem. Because otherwise I'll get my tower, will be, my tower will basically get taken care of. So we have to play defensive here. Eat a little bit more damage here. Poison does come out. I wish we were in double elixir because then I could go on a huge counter push right now and throw my golem up front at the lane, but that's not going to work right now. Uh, I, Lumberjack is still getting to the tower, though, with some bats, though. So we'll see if the Night Witch gets there. Night Witch does get there. The bats gets a little bit of chip in there, so I need to go for this tower, even though I could have done, like... I could have did it a different way, where I just basically uh, poison and tornado it down, or poison and zapped it down, sorry. I was thinking of using the tornado there. He really likes to throw that Tesla on the way opposite side. It's really, really interesting. So, I guess this time around, we're going to poison here just to ensure that we get this tower. Not in, I'm not crazy worried, worried about the Skeleton Barrel, because he still has a long way to go on my other, my other tower. So, we're sitting in a good spot. The Golem is going to be coming in clutch here. If we see the Goblin Barrel, I'm not going to be worried about it because we have our Tornado. We basically have everything that we really need. So, 19 seconds left. This is going to be his, like, last main big push. So, there we go. We stopped him there. I'll throw it on my golem here because he still has to take up my tower. With 8 seconds left, and I don't think he's going to be able to do it. He has nothing else in his battle deck that I'm currently worried about. So, we just play defense here. No, we're not even a rocket. So, we beat the bait battle deck here. Spam a little bit. Let, let's save us a little bit on time here because we still have two minutes left here. <sighs> Man, should I wait till the last few seconds to see what happens? I don't think I'm going to do it this time around. Uh, so I'm going to share my battle. Share, check this replay out, and then I'm going to hop onto the other account quick. I already logged in previously. I'm probably going to have to log back into my main account to do the, uh, to do the, the bag opening. I don't know. Is it a bag, the pouch? The satchel, final battle, build my, I was going to say, I don't have my war deck built, I didn't think it was going to let me uh, battle there. Copy, no, I don't want to watch it, we're making the misplays. I want to copy this battle deck, war deck, there we go, now that was a struggle for sure, so final battle, one minute left, let's see how this one fares out, like, I believe how it's going to go is if this battle lasts longer than a minute, it's just gonna hold us off for a little bit. I'm not 100% sure, but I think that's how it's gonna work. Like, it will still be fine, but... I'm gonna be aggressive right off this start here. I, paid pa I played passive uh, last game, waiting to see what they had, but... Watch, he probably has a P.E.K.K.A. Or not. Just a... A Hog Rider, maybe? That definitely warrants his app. Ooh, so we're playing a Mortar. Interesting. 
It's like it's like a miniature mortar bait battle deck. Get our minions going here. Ideally, I would like this to be a mega minion, but sadly we didn't have it for the war. So we got our poison out. Take care of those archers, because archers do stack up and are really annoying to deal with. I got a lot more damage on the left-hand side. Well, not a lot, but a little bit more damage on the left-hand side. So if I can fend off the mortar a few times, I'm going to be in a good spot. Like right now, if he dropped on the mortar, I would be in a tough spot. But now, now we're good. We have our golem in hand. Sadly, I do not have the zap. So this is going to take a tornado to get rid of the bats. So we're probably going to see the mortar this time right now. Guess we'll zap him. Just get rid of his bait stuff. If he wants to, we can throw... I think he's scared to throw on his mortar because he knows I have my golem in hand. But I don't think he realizes that my elixir is very, very low. If that makes any sense. It, I think it will. So... Might see the mortar this time. We're not. I'm surprised we're not seeing a more aggressive mortar play here after I throw down a card. So that leaves me in a good spot. We will throw it in the back. We're almost in double elixir here. So I'm okay with how this... This little match is playing out here. He's being really, really passive with his mortar. And that's really good for us. Now, I haven't shown my executioner yet, so he does not know I have that. He might have like a rocket, though, or a big spell that I have to worry about. Hopefully, it doesn't hit my lumberjack. At least it didn't hit my lumberjack. That was the main thing. So, here's that aggressive mortar coming out. Golem is still incredibly healthy. I'm gonna throw on another golem. Let's keep the pressure on while I can, really. That's that's what we're trying to get going for here. Let's see if he wants to rocket that one. If he does, we're okay with it. I'm not gonna throw anything else until we maybe see a rocket or anything. There we go. Rock it out. That's when everything else comes out. Come on. Left anything alive besides those minions? No, everything else died. Golemites getting that slow chip down. We're in overtime. We're definitely the war has ended. Oh, that's a that's a bad play by me. The mortar's gonna start hitting my tower. So he's probably gonna just try and defend that mortar the best that he can. And as long as I'm able to stop it, he's gonna have no way to stop. Like I can I can take a few shots. That's what I'm trying to get at here. So. As long as we get this golem to the tower, we get those golemites there, it's going to be GG. So this is kind of where it's hurting him for not having, like, that chip damage earlier in the match. So, that's going to be it. The 2-0. -oh. Give us that war pouch, man. Or is it at the end of the season like last time? I believe it's at the end of every war, the war bounty gold. So I think we get to open that up now. So we ended up... In th uh, second place, we're going to get 80 trophies. So there we go. We get the War Bounty open. Let's let's screenshot that. Boom. War Bounty open. Oh, look at that little satchel. War resources. War rank gold resource cards. So we only got 750 gold. I believe I did more matches or one more matches than that. Victory gold. Okay. There we go. That's where it evens out. So 2,500 gold from those war matches with the victory gold. That's nice. And we do get a token. Oh no, it's just more bony. Why is it an epic card? I thought it was going to be an epic token. Got me hyped for nothing. So he's got a ton of gold out of our war satchel there. What's our offers here? Those ones. So I'm going to hop onto the main account now. A lot of back and forth on the accounts here. Here we go. Now we'll open up this war board. Hopefully, hopefully we get a legendary token. I mean, we're not a token, just a trade token in general. I assume it's probably like legendary tokens are like legendary cards where they're rare. Epic trade tokens are rare. Uh, the <laughs> the rare tokens aren't as rare in the comments. Sorry, I couldn't think of it. I'm a good way to say it, but locking it off here. My goal is max. Show me the trade token. Let's go, dude. We get the legendary trade token. Do not know how rare that is. We already have four tokens though. Let's go. Tomorrow, or later today, maybe even, I'll do my first war trade. We'll have to wait and see, but nice. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, so we have one epic trade token, one rare, one common, one legendary. I believe if you open up a chest, 
and you already have a maxed out card, you get a token for it. I think that's how it is because I opened up three chests and I started like and I, I when I opened up these legendary kings chests and I had maxed out cards. You can see how I opened up the goblin emotes or the barbarian emotes, the legendary king chest over here, and the lightning chest over here, or legendary king chest over there, and I got legendaries. So I don't know if you get a trade token for max cards you already have. I'll have to investigate them more. I believe you do, but I don't don't quote me on it, but I believe you do because I've opened up some max cards and I had full stacks of rares in the common ones. So maybe if you have a full stack and it's maxed out, you get a token for all, for opening it up. Obviously, you can only have five of each token though. But other than that, we're gonna wrap up that video. I got I got a little hype there. We got the legendary trade token on the first try. Sadly, we did get second place in the war. I mean, that's not bad. But thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know how your war bounty pouch was. Did you get some gold? Did you get some trade tokens? How are you liking trading? Thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. I'll see you guys later.